Hi, thanks for joining us for this video tutorial on ETX, our new powered loudspeakers from ElectroVoice. We wanted to uh, tell you a little bit more about the key features and the really advanced technology that's built into ETX. Uh, it was really built from the ground up here in Burnsville, Minnesota by our engineering team and really wanted to achieve best in class, best in performance powered loudspeaker, a great combination of brains and power. So we've got Ethan here, speaking of brains, and uh, Ethan's going to help me along a little bit with some of this really advanced stuff that's in this box. As far as the amplifier, now I know uh, it's a class D amp, mm -hmm. 2000 watt mains, 1800 watt subs. Uh, how, how are we taking those measurements? Well, when people are looking at power ratings for a powered loudspeaker. It's important to remember that these are specified just a little bit differently than you would have with discrete components. For example, if I'm going to look for a power amplifier, I have a set of standard measurements that I'm going to use to determine the power rating of that amp. I will then look at a loudspeaker, which will have, again, a standardized set of tests to be able to specify the power rating for that loudspeaker. And that, of course, is going to include long-term power handling, short-term power handling, and peak power handling. But those are discrete components. So I'm looking at the rating for the amplifier, then I'm looking at the rating for the powered loudspeaker, or for the passive loudspeaker. Sure. When we're talking about a powered loudspeaker, what we're talking about is the sum of the parts. So it is the amplifier with the transducers as a complete package. So when we take those measurements, what we're actually doing is measuring the power directly off of the terminals as the amplifier is driving them. So that's how we get to those different power ratings. And when we look at different configurations, for example, a top versus a three-way versus a two-way versus a sub, those are going to have different impedance. Because there's different loudspeakers. In that's the correct. So that's also going to wind up impacting what the measurement actually comes off there um, and how that's specified. Makes sense. Okay. And, and then as far as power ratings on powered loudspeakers, um, you know, we, we obviously are taking some real measurements, uh, but really the end result and what we need to be concerned with is max SPL. That's Absolutely. what we want. We want sound pressure, right? Yeah, I've never seen anybody rock out to a thousand watts of a sine wave on a club floor. Um, what people are really, really interested in is how much air am I moving? What's my max SPL? How loud is this box actually going to get for my application? So it's important to keep in mind those specifications are all real, those ratings are all very accurately and reproducibly measured, but when we're looking at making a choice in a powered loudspeaker, let's focus on what's important. Let's focus on max SPL, how loud can that box get, and how well is this going to perform for my application. Of course. If you have any questions and you want to learn more about this, you can call the phone number just below here or visit us at electrovoice.com.